Trump just uncovered Elizabeth Warren stole $5 billion from U.S. taxpayers. What she did with it will make you sick by Matt Palumbo for mpolitical.com. The signature achievement of Elizabeth Warren while in the Senate has been the creation of the Consumer Protection Financial Bureau, or CFPB. It was created to act as a watchdog for the financial industry following the 2008-2009 financial crisis. Now, it's all coming out what she's allegedly responsible for doing, and it's not good. Trump has appointed Mick Mulvaney to head the agency, a man who has called the agency a joke before and said that he doesn't believe it should even exist. I'm sure Warren must be thrilled. It's a good thing, too, because it means a man aware of the reality of the situation at the Democratic nightmare that if the CFPB, according to an explosive Wall Street Journal piece last year, titled the, quote, Consumer Financial Protection Racket, the paper's editorial board takes an axe to the law. Instead of protecting consumers, the CFPB has compiled records of abuse rivaling that of Washington's most entrenched bureaucracies and may be operating outside of the parameters of the Constitution, the Wall Street Journal editorial stated. They quoted lawyers representing a mortgage lender called uh, PHH, which had been appealing the CFPB's increasing a $6.4 million penalty to the firm already owed to an additional $105 million. How? It appears that they just created law out of thin air. The President and Congress have no control over this agency. PHHS's lawyers stated in court, the only check on this agency is right here. If it isn't for the judiciary, this agency could do anything it wants. It's arguably an unconstitutional agency and one that has no problem wasting money. CFPB pays 56 employees more than $199,700 Federal Reserve Board Chairman Ben Bernanke receives Federal Reserve's Governor $179,700, a figure exceeded by 111 CFPB workers. Wow. Six-figure salaries go to 741 employees, or 61% of the CFPB's workforce, with one in four taking home $150,000 or more. According to the Gateway Pundit, Warren has been allegedly operating a slush fund. The New York Post's Paul Sperry reports that the CFPB is engaged in a wide variety of corruption, everything from amassing secret ledgers to using penalties to lauder funds into left-wing causes. Of course, because the CFPB operates independently of the U.S. government, a full audit of the agency's balance sheet have never been done. Wow, that is amazing. This sad reality may very well change under Mulvaney's leadership, according to the Post report. Bounced business owners and industry reps from in, uh, secret uh, meetings it's held with Democrat operatives, radical civil rights activists, trial lawyers, and other community advisors, according to a report by the House Financial Services Committee retain GMMB, the liberal advocacy group that created ads for the Obama and Hillary Clinton presidential campaigns for more than $40 million, making the Democrat shop the sole recipient of CFPB's advertising expenditures. Funneled a large portion of more than $5 billion dollars in penalties collected from defendants to community organizers 
aligned with Democrats. A slush fund by another name said a consultant who worked with CFPB on its civil penalty fund and requested anonymity. Reports of the CFPB awarding lucrative contracts to left-leaning organizations is nothing new. The CFPB awarded GMMB, the Obama-Hillary ad firm, a $14.7 million contract for agency media and resource communication in June of 2017 and a $16 million payday to marketing materials about student loans and mortgages. The Post also discovered that the CFPB's activity is raising more than a few privacy concerns. CFPB has secretly assembled giant consumer databases that raise individual privacy as well as corporate liability concerns. One sweeps up personal credit card information and another compiles data on as many as 230 million mortgage applicants focusing on race and ethnicity. While Ronald Reagan once observed that nothing lasts longer than a temporary government program, the CFPB was intended to be permanent and may now only be temporary. On his first day on the job, Mulvaney instituted a 30-day freeze on all new hiring and creating of new regulations at the CFPB. The banking industry breathed a sigh of relief when he did so, as they and industry analysts have long observed that some harsh and unjust regulations created and enforced by the agency had driven thousands of banks out of business. The agency should have been eliminated long ago it's a relief that the captain of that ship appears to be heading deliberately into an iceberg. Wow. Now you realize, like, the corruption, the corruption of the Democratic Party. You think that that's why they're fighting so hard to keep their claws into the government? Look how much this, this witch was involved in stealing. And not only that, remember the article when uh, English wasn't uh, resigning till, you know, she took Trump to court in, uh, because Mulvaney was supposed to take over. And she took, uh, took Trump to court for that that she said. And the court said, no, you're fired. That Trump has the authority to appoint whoever he wants. So look what Trump uncovered about Pocahontas here. A uh, $5 billion from U.S. taxpayers. Like, are you kidding me? That's why they're fighting Trump tooth and nail, because Trump is going to get to the bottom of this corruption, and he's going to end it real fast. And that's why they can't stand him. They were making a, a pretty penny off of this with these kind of salaries also. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and again, thank you so much for watching.